What up, everybody? This is JP from Off the Ball Network giving you a recap of last night's national championship game between the Georgia Bulldogs versus Alabama Crimson Tide. The rematch that we all been looking forward to since the SEC championship game. And what a game! What a game! Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe down to Off the Ball Network for all your sports needs. Go to OffTheBallNetwork.com. You get articles, podcasts, everything you need on OffTheBallNetwork.com. Shout out to the guys on Off the Ball network killing it right now doing their thing and everything we're hot and heavy into the basketball season we also started a new draft capital we gave you all basketball now we're giving you football so please check it out and also follow us on our social media platforms too as well to keep up with the best sports content every single day and man when i tell you what i tell you that was a great game last night um defensive type of game at the beginning and then Georgia kind of started getting momentum and everything so and Stacey Bennett you know actually you know came up in the second half and played really well so yeah you can really say anything uh, other than it was a great defensive first half um it was just field goal after field goal um you know, it was just kind of hard for Bryce Young because, you know, that Georgia defense is so good. That line is so good, leading by Jordan Davis. And then you have Dean in the linebacker position. I mean, they were just relentless, too, as well. So, and they were just going after it. They were going after Bryce Young. They were going after Barmason, uh, Brian Robinson Jr. It kind of sucks that they lost Jamison Williams, though, to injury early in the game. Um, he you be always usually be a difference maker, you know, when he shows up. And to lose him and not have John Minchie, too, as well, that kind of hurt Alabama in terms of the receiving game and everything. They had to depend on Hall, their tight end, to do something. And uh, it was just a struggle. I felt so sorry for Alabama, though. But i tell you what, you know, I'll tell you what, Stinson Bennett, you know, kind of struggled a little bit, you know, in the uh, first half, but he came alive in the second half with a with a really nice throw, with a nice throw, and uh, James uh, Cook definitely uh, got a nice yard run too as well. So yeah, the, the Georgia was like, we're not going to get destroyed like we did in the SEC championship game. Now you know, in the SEC championship game, they got destroyed by Alabama. Like it just felt like they were just little kids. That line was getting destroyed by Alabama's defensive line. And the defensive line got destroyed by Alabama's offensive line. And Bryce Young put up a show, put on a show with the four touchdowns. I mean, it was just a flip-flop. And people thought that this was going to be the same thing, too, as well. We were going to see Alabama beating up on Georgia because it's just like Georgia could never beat Alabama. Last time they faced each other, Alabama won. Tua Tonalova, you know, with that second-half comeback, played really well. So... We thought we might see something. We might thought we see Bryce Young do something, but you know, not having those receivers kind of hurt them in the long run. And the defense can't really hold up Georgia like that. And you know, two key play, uh, two plays too as well. It's just like lot some penalty calls, like pass interference. Then you, Kyrie Jackson getting toasted by that one receiver um, without even looking at the ball. He should have looked at the ball. But he never did. He just kept looking at his man and the man. And it was just a beautiful throw by Bennett. It was just a beautiful, beautiful throw. But it was a really good game, really good game. And then Bryce Young, that second interception uh, that he got picked off and they scored a touchdown with it. It was great. And Stinson Bennett being emotional, it really was a feel-good home for Georgia to finally get the sweet revenge on Alabama when we thought Alabama was going to be the favorites to win the championship yet again because you never want to go against Nick Saban. He's the greatest college football coach of all time. Never want to bet against him, but you know, Kobe Smart got out of there and now he is a champion. Congratulations to the Georgia Bulldogs. The final score was 33-18. Uh, really great game. Really a great defensive game by both teams and you know, it was just a, it was a great game to watch, though, and I'm happy for Georgia and the Georgia community finally getting the championship uh, right there for them. And you look at it, the past couple of years, it's either been it been an SEC team that wins the championship. It was Alabama, yeah, LSU, and yeah, Georgia. Um, 
the last non-team to win it was uh, Clemson. So <laughs> that just tells you, you know, just the dominance of the SEC and how they're the best uh, conference out of all of them because they got really great players, fast or strong too as well. So um, definitely comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on the national championship game. What was your favorite moment? Uh, did Georgia deserve to win it? Uh, who you got going to win the championship next year? Please, please, please just comment down below. Subscribe to Off The Ball Network, all your sports needs. Best sports content right now. Check out OffTheBallNetwork.com. You get everything, articles, podcasts, everything. And I don't want to leave off without thanking our sponsors from Off The Ball Network, BetUS, Ice Shaker, my bookie and built ball if you go to their websites and use the promo code off the ball you get really good deals really good bets everything that you need right there go to their websites use that promo code off the ball and you get the best deals ever and i swear to you i'm not lying to you it's great deals please 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 check out one of their websites here i'm jp and we are out of here peace